Hi, I'm Tony Gibson from Spiderworks and I'm going to show you how to assemble the Spiderworks uh, Paulini engine. Um, well, the frame, let's put it that way. First things you have to do is locate the strut and the base of the frame. You'll see it's the only one with a straight section um, and no lines. So locate those ones and slide them into the slots provided at the bottom of the frame. You'll see it goes in really easily. Right in there and then this particular system goes into the bottom. That's it. Just nice and simple. Squeeze it in and make sure it's in. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to stand the frame up and uh, then assemble the rest of the part. Okay, now that the frame's standing upright, I'm going to go collect the struts and the, the cage part and uh, assemble the rest of the frame. So I've got the two struts, they go into the side parts of the actual uh, center frame. Just nice and simply put them in, making sure that they they located the right way around. Very simple solution. Okay, now what we're going to do is attach the, um, start attaching the ring of the, the frame. Uh, make sure that the lines are facing forward and um, untangled. What you do is locate the points at the base over there. You'll see the two holes, two attachment points over there and just secure that in place bring the velcro over the the frame making sure that that you first wrap it from from the outside going around and then just secure it like that um, now what we've got is we've got the the actual frames lines that have got to um, get tied in you'll see that once it's in this position over here if this this particular set goes to the top on that point over there which means that it's um, des uh, the designated point is the top of the actual center frame, just below that uh, that strut. Put the the line through the the little cleat that we've supplied, and just pull on that ball so that the knot comes out. Same goes for the the next one. Just make sure that you get them untangled. Put it in. Yeah, this one's a little more difficult. You actually got to get in behind the back padding over here. So you can remove this and um, just there's the cleat that you want to want to aim at put it in here the field tubing does interfere with this one a bit um, and just making sure that you can get this one out of this little cleat that's the, the downside to this particular point I'll get it out there. Yeah. okay once you've got that in just give it a little tug and it's secure um, you can put the back plate back on in that respect. Um, secure the, the end point over there, it's attached. We'll do the same for this side over here. So making sure that the lines are facing forward, the Velcro is in correct position, bring it in, attach everything and secure the lines. Making sure you've got the top or the bottom. Just making sure that the line's untangled, put it through the hole, pull it tight, and it's in. So same goes with this particular one, put in behind the back plate, and get that through, secure it, pull it out, there we go, back plate back in place. Okay, now we're going to put the two top struts in, but before that happens I need to get hold of the harness. You see this particular Z, sort of lightning bolt effect that you got over there? That secures the harness's top brackets through those slots there. So I'm going to grab the harness quickly and put that into the slot. So bringing the harness to the machine, that buckle over there slots in there, and this one into this position over here. That's it. That's how they're going to fit. Just put it back in. Grab the strut. Put it into the, the, the strut holder, slide it all the way down, pull it out, slide it in, and it's secured. So that's worked on that little Z principle. Same goes with the other side. Slide it, make sure that it's in properly, slide it in, pull it out, push it in. It's secure. Now, what we're going to do is just make sure that we've got this, uh, the, the harness, you know, stabilized. Pull the pin out by pushing that little button over there. It releases the, the, the clips, pop this guy into its position and 
the the harness is now secured in the mid section same goes on this particular one pull it out put it in and it's secured on the mid section okay now very important for the the harness as well is just in the back corner over here you'll see there's a little locator pin over here you're gonna you'll see that it can actually pull in and out okay um, we have this buckle over here which is a unique shape and that slots into this point over here on the center frame pull that out and make sure it's secured and it's in place same goes on the other side it's a bit easier to see it on this side over here so there's your your little point that you're going to be the pin that you're going to be pulling it's got a spring in it so it releases and pulls in under tension so in lock and it's fast okay once again uh, we're going to just complete the rest of the cage so same as the before put the um, frame into its location points make sure that you've got them lined up and in position clip them in fasten your velcro get the tension on them that's it and then once again your top line through the top hole pull it make sure it goes in secure and again on the, the next one down goes in and it's secure now what we'll do is we'll do the opposite side again pop these in that gets located pull that one into position and it's in velcro goes on nice and simple and then locate the top position over here that one goes through the top over here and because it's underneath that buckle a little bit fingery and then once again the last that part that through. goes in now is the top ring so make sure that you you put it in the, the correct places you'll see it's got a bit of an overlap over here so what you got to do is under a little bit of tension over here you actually have to force this one into position so just give it a good push settle it and it's in tie up these ones and uh, get them secured making sure that all the velcro is tied do the same with this side over here tie it up and then the last parts that are going to go together is the uh, the top strings. Pull it in, secure it, pull it in, secure it. Now everything on the frame is actually assembled. The one thing that's still missing is the battery pack which is located in a tree. <laughs> You've got a 3200 milliamp uh, battery over here, it's a nickel metal hydride. We have supplied you with a charger for this because the engine's charging circuit is not uh, charging these batteries. Not until our next revision, um, we're still busy with the charging circuits. So, we've got a 32 milliamp battery, 13 cells, gives a good, uh, good amount of voltage to actually get the engine going. The way that you're going to uh, insert this into the frame, it goes between the plates, is release this particular uh, line over here open up the velcro where the battery compartment is and just slide the battery in and then secure the velcro once again so you're going to secure the velcro there once that's done bring your lines back into position uh, just tie over you need to secure that again and then um, it's ready on the frame, I'm just going to turn it slightly, you'll see that the battery is now inside here, it's got a blocking uh, position on this side over here, a little blocking port, you, um, that'll uh, stop the battery from sliding out the other side. There's your master switch, so make sure it's in the off position before you plug the battery in. You'll see that the battery can only go in, in a specific point because that's a flat side, flat side, round and round. Plug that in. And now once you're ready to go, arm it and then you can use the throttle.